about staccato and legato. Let's move in here because we don't really need anything with the recorder anymore. By this point, you know your notes, you know the rhythms. Now we're adding some stuff that makes music more interesting. We call these music markings or articulation markings. So, so far we've only articulated things, um, oh my goodness, using the word to. Now we're going to be a little more specific. So if you look, the word up here is staccato, and I'm going to highlight that. If I can get to my highlighter, I'm going to highlight that in yellow, staccato. And it means short and separated, and you can tell it's staccato if the note has these little dots underneath it. So up on exercise number one, for example, all of them are staccato. And we can use a green highlighter to highlight this word, legato. It means that it's going to be smooth, and that's with these little lines underneath the note. So instead of being short, ta ti ti, it's going to be smoother, ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti, like that. So I'm just going to kind of go through and read the rhythms on these, both of these. Oh, I need green for legato here because this whole thing is going to be legato. I'm just going to read the rhythms for you on exercise one, and I'm going to do it in a fashion that is staccato. And then if you look, the pitches in one and two are both the same. It's just the articulation markings that are different. So here's number one with staccato. Ready? And here I go. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta, 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 ta. And you'll notice that I did a nice little, did it twice because of my repeat sign over here, which you'll notice is also right here. So you're going to hear me do legato two times as well. So now that we've heard staccato, I'm going to show you what the rhythms would sound like if they were legato. Ready? Same tempo, just a different style of articulating. Ready? And here I go. Ta 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 ti 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 ta 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 ti 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 ta. So whereas our staccato notes were ta ta ta, short and very separate, my legato notes were ta ta ta, smooth and almost like they were connected. You might see something else. We know already about skit. There's some more vocabulary on this page, too. You've already heard about skips. We know this word. There it is. We know that that means going from space to space or line to line and space closest or line closest to it. But there's, we already know the word steps. That means you're moving from line to space to the very next space or from the space to the very next line, either up or down. We know what breath marks are. There it is. It means take a breath here. But what on earth is a tie? A tie, my friends, is when we take two rhythms and we connect them so that we hold them for longer. So we know half note is two beats, right? And normally if we were playing, we'd say ta, ta, right? They'd be separate. But when we use a tie, and i got to find a good color we haven't used yet. When we have a tie, it means that these notes are now, the rhythms are now going to combine and we have to hold it out for a longer time. So instead of having two different half notes, ta, ta, it's going to sound like this, ta. So I've just connected the rhythms, connected the, the number of beats together as one. Over here, looks like a tie, but it is not. And here's how I know this is not a tie. A tie connects two of the same together, right? This is a note that's tied to that one. They're both exactly the same pitch. They're not changing, so they're going to stay the same. It's just going to get longer. Over here, I've got, I'm going from... B to A to G, I'm stepping somewhere, my pitches are moving. So then we call that a slur. And let me find a new color here too. Um, what have we not used? Well, 
we kind of use that one. How about the seafoam green color? A slur is going to connect notes that are not the same together and it's going to make them very legato. So Thai, I just did ta. Here for a slur, I'm going to say ta, 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 and they're going to be connected. It's a lot easier to show you in playing. So here's exercise number one. I'm going to skip the repeat for this just because of time. And I'm going to play exercise number one very staccato. Ready? And here I go. All of my pitches and notes in there were rhythms were separated, 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 and they were short. Here's exercise number two. Again, same pitches, just different style of playing them. Legato. Ready? And here I go. Very different from the staccato sound. Am I right? It's smooth, it's connected, it's very much like, it's less harsh than a staccato sound. Looking at exercise number three, I'm gonna play the skips and I'm gonna show you the difference between the tie and the slur. See if you can hear the difference. Ready? And here I go. So there's my slur. I didn't tongue at all, right? It was so legato, I didn't even separate the notes. I just played. There was no articulation of two. So that's a slur. On the tie, I just held the notes for four beats. So I hope you can kind of hear the difference in that. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about the difference between tie and slur. Slur connects different notes and rhythms together, right? Different pitches and rhythms together and makes it a very smooth flowing like water sound. A tie just means that we're holding the same exact note for a longer amount of time. Happy practicing!